Hello and welcome in this video. This is Jamie from WP25. In this video, I am going to show you how you can customize your dashboard login page using WP25. Before jumping into the video, navigate to WP25 option panel and make sure you have enabled the login customizer module. Otherwise, it will not work. Just enable this login customizer module, then save the settings and navigate to login customizer. If you are familiar with the WordPress default customizer, then you will understand how to work with this WP25 login customizer module. Our first option is templates. We have 16 preview templates for you. Just click on your desired template and it will be applied instantly. And then you can do your basic customization after selecting your template. Let's select this one and navigate to our editor then logo if you don't like this wordpress default logo you can select your own logo let's select master addons logo and you can see it changed and now you can define the size let's select pixel then define 200 and 100 and you can see the changes now let's select text and change our website name to master add-ons also you can define your text logo typography from this option panel and define padding let's move back and select background if you don't like any of this uh, image background you can select a flat background for your website login page also you can select gradient and let's select two color okay this is how the gradient looks you can define the direction and select overlay let's select a color and you can see the opacity is changing okay this is how the overlay and gradient color works now what if you like to set a video for your background just select on video and then if you like to self hosted video then click on self hosted or if you want to play a youtube video then just click on this youtube and paste any url and you can see it changed instantly and then slideshow if you like to add multiple images as slideshow then just click on add slide and add your images that's it i hope you got how to work with this all of these background properties then navigate to our layout here you can see single column layout and double column layout if i click on double column and you will see it's divided into two columns also you can define the column alignment if i click on this one you can see it's divided into two portion on top and bottom just play with all of these options and you will understand how to customize your login page in double column here you can also change the background color for your double column if i select double column then you can see the color is changed and you can define the gradient This is how the, the multi-column works in your login customizer base. Let's stick with our single column. Everything is on center. Let's stick with our colors. Clear this one. And move back. Then the login form. This is our main login form. You can change the login form background to anything that you like. And then the login form height and width. Let's do 500 for the width and 300 for the height and you can see it's applied instantly also you can play with this box shadow and define any color and then place horizontal vertical then blur spread just play with all of these options and you will get a proper idea on how exactly work with this background customization for your login form field then the form field it's basically the text changes here you can see username and email address if i change it to input username it sends to input username then we have username or email as a placeholder you can also change the placeholder to type your 
username here and then the password what's your password and then the style label font size you can increase the label font size and then the field height field font size and field background color too and then the focus one when you will click it will be the focus one for example if i click on this one if i click it changed this is what we call focus then the label color i mean the label text color it changes to yellow and then the blue let's keep our black color and then the input colors and focus text color and from the advanced step you can control the margin and form field padding let's keep it 20 and then write 20 okay and bottom 20 and the left let's call it 30 okay so that's all about the form field customization and finally we have our button customization you can see it's the login button it seems a little small regarding our form field and all of the our text information okay let's increase the font size okay now it seems perfect with our newly designed login form and also you can change the color and then the text color and on hover let's call the background to something blue and the text color to white now when we will hover it will be changed to blue as a background and white as a text color and then text shadow you can select your desired color and input your blur horizontal and vertical fellow that's all customization about our button okay before jumping into this other option let me show you how actually it looks on real wp admin login page let's navigate to our incognito mode and hit enter this is how our wp admin for login page looks like okay let's navigate to our option and you can see as hide remember me option there's a remember me check mark you can easily hide this option and also disable login check disable lost password here is the lost password Disable this and here is back to WP Adminify. I mean back to your website. Now let's move back to our option panel again. And then we have our Google font. Here you can define your typography for login page. You can customize your error messages for username, password and email. Then custom CSS and JS. We have the option to change your login page using custom CSS and JS editor. And also we have the credit show some live option. You can see powered by wp you can just disable it and publish this is how you can easily create your own brandable wp admin login page using wp adminify i hope you got a clear idea on how to customize your wp admin page using wp adminify if you still have any question regarding this model feel free to comment in this video or get in touch with us via our support forum we will try our best to assist you